everybody? Welcome back to Eastside Fishing. I got my friend Ryan Real Angler Adventures behind the camera right now. Today we're on the beach and we're going for Pompano. So we're gonna see what we can do today. It's early in December, the fish should be here and we got the bait. So hopefully if they're hungry, we can get on them. So let's do it. So we got a little one, undersized Pompano. I'm gonna try and get him back, get his big brother. Pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Oh, it's a blue. Bait. Bait. Yep. So, like always, was not paying attention and... Or recording. Or recording, and we got bit. Ryan and I noticed one of the rods was slacked out. I'm slacked out right there on that one. And I think we might be getting hit, but we got to keep her pumped. See if we can get some more. Now, have them nosed up all the way on the stick. Wipe that right here 13, 12 and a half, almost 13. Nice little pump now. Alright y'all, so I'm about to retie and show you guys what I like to use out here. This is your standard pompano rig. I just have floats, no beads, and then the final hook is just bare. This is the way that I like to tie my rigs, and I will be coming out with a video soon, I think in a couple of weeks. Not really too sure when I'm going to get around to it, but I will show you guys how I like to tie my pompano rigs. We got something messing with one of my rods. Let's see what's, what we got. the target species for the day they have not been very cooperative and we've only been catching a lot of shorts but i do have one keeper in the box and that's enough for me these are sand fleas also known as mole crabs to some other uh, people really depends on where you're from um, so i'll usually use sand fleas in combination with one of these this is a product that's called fish bites. What it is, is artificial fish attractant and fish bait. So basically this one right here is concentrated clam flavor. And what I like to do is I put this on the bottom hook because scientifically, I think clams live on the ocean floor. So for a fish that's looking to feed on clams, they would be looking on the bottom hook compared to anywhere else on my rig. So I figured I'd share that tidbit of information with you guys, kind of a little bit of insight on how I like to think about these things, but I swear every little thing that goes into it really does help. So stay tuned. We're going to see if we can get one.
how happy I am to see these today, but how unhappy I am to also see them. Little Pompano have been a plague today. They have not left, left us alone at all. But we will not shy away from catching these awesome fish. They are very highly sought after and lots of people love to eat them. So I'll take rod bending action any day. <laughs> all right guys, let's get it back in the water. We are getting slammed. pretty much all day it has been a very very tough bite with way too many short pompano we got one keeper that was you know kind of a fluke this morning and i am fully convinced that there was too many sharks way too many short pompano but we did try to get it done and grind it out and sometimes what can happen is if you're here for five hours eight hours all of a sudden you just need one school to come through and you can catch a couple keepers. So we have been grinding it out today and I'm very, very glad that you guys were able to watch me and come join me with this. So you know what? We're about to finish this last set and then we're packing it up and getting out of here. <laughs> 